Right, greetings and welcome again. So I'm Floyd Gordon and today we're looking at portfolio risk and return. All right, so three formulas we're looking at. Expected portfolio return, which is a weighted average of the returns in the portfolio. Right, so it is the individual weight of each asset or the percentage allocation for each asset multiplied by the return or expected return for that asset. All right. For the expected portfolio beta, similarly, it's a weighted average of the betas in the portfolio. So it's a weight for each asset multiplied by the beta for that asset. All right. And as I said, the weight is basically just the percentage allocation. How much of your portfolio is invested in that asset? What percentage? And then third, we have the portfolio variance. And this is really the variance for two asset portfolio. Right, A represents the first asset and B represents the second asset. Right, sometimes the interchange A and B with one and two, where one would represent the first asset and two would represent the second oh, asset. Gosh. So the formula is saying the weight of the first asset squared multiplied by the variance for the first asset, right, or the square of the standard deviation, plus the weight of the second asset squared multiplied by the variance for the second asset or the standard deviation squared plus two multiplied by the weight for the first asset times the weight for the second asset times the standard deviation of the first asset times the standard deviation of the second asset and we finally multiply it by the correlation coefficient between both assets All right, so let's take it to an exercise find the expected return and standard deviation for a portfolio with 60% invested in X and the balance in Y. And also for one with 60% invested in X and the balance in Z. Now the balance, you should see that the balance is 40%, right? Since that's what will take us up to 100%. Alright, so information for both assets. Asset X has a 20% expected return and a 25% standard deviation. Asset Y has an 8% expected return and a 15% standard deviation, while asset Z has an 8% expected return and a 18% standard deviation. Correlation coefficient between X and Y, 0 0.3, and correlation coefficient between X and Z is negative 0 0.4. All right, so first we're gonna calculate the expected return for this portfolio with 60% invested in X and 40% invested in Y. So we're saying 60% is invested in X with a return of 20%. So we're, we're taking 60% of that 20% return plus 40% of this 8% return. All right, so here we go. We have 0.6 represents 60% multiplied by 20 plus 0.4 for 40% multiplied by 8. And that gives me 15.2%. For the standard deviation, we're just working with the formula. So first, we'll just find the variance. So we have the portfolio variance is equal to 0.6, the weight of A, 60%, so 0.6 squared, times standard deviation for A squared, 0.25 squared, plus uh, 0.4 squared, the weight of the second asset, multiplied by this 0.5 squared, which is the standard deviation for the second asset plus 2 multiplied by weight of the first asset, 0 0.6, times the weight of the second asset, 0 0.4, times 0 0.25, the standard deviation of the first asset, and multiplied by 0 0.15, the standard deviation of the second asset. Then we multiply by the correlation coefficient, which is 0 0.3. Right? So we solve that to get 0 0.0315. For the standard deviation, we simplify the square root of that figure, and that gives me 0 0.1775. Or multiply by 100, it gives me 17.75%. Right? So that care, takes care of portfolio with X and Y. Now, looking at the portfolio with X and Z, the expected return, uh, we should expect it to be the same since the returns are the same as the other portfolio. All right? So we have same calculation, same 15.2%. All right, so for the standard deviation, here we go. So we have 0.6 squared, the weight of the first asset, 
times 0.25, the standard deviation for the second asset squared, plus the weight of the second asset, 0.4 squared, times standard deviation of asset 2 squared, 0.18 squared, plus 2 times the weight of the first, first asset, 0.6, times the weight of the second asset, 0.4, times the standard deviation for the first asset, 0.25, times the standard deviation for the second asset, 0.18, times the correlation coefficient, which is negative 0.4. Right, so this works out to be 0 0.019044, which is our variance. Right, for the standard deviation, we simply find the square root of the variance, and that gives 0 0.138, or 13.8%. Alright, so based on this, we have the following information. Right? The return for both portfolios is 15.2%, but the standard deviation for, for the first portfolio is 17.75, while the standard deviation for the second portfolio is 13.8. Now it's important to note that even though asset Y is less risky than asset Z. The correlation coefficient of negative 0 0.4 causes a great risk reduction and puts portfolio, the second portfolio, in a better position than the first. All right, so now we want to look at the portfolio beta. All right, so we're looking at an exercise here. Calculate the expected return and beta of the above. Right, so we have four assets, A, B, C, D, and we have their expected returns, their betas, and the amount invested in each. Right? So here we go. Step one. Calculate the total investment. Right? So because we need to know the weight of each investment or the percentage invested in each of these assets, we need to know the total. So we add up to get the total being four million dollars right now second step is to calculate the percentage investment in each right so we do that by saying 1.5 million divided by 4 million that works out to 0.375 or 37.5 percent a million divided by 4 million gives us 0.25 or 25 percent and 500,000 divided by 400 4 million gives us uh, 0.125 or 12.5%. And a million divided by 4 million is again 25%. So now that we have our proportions, we are good to go with the formulas for each. So here we go. For the expected return, we say it's a weighted average of the expected returns of each asset. So we're going to be saying, 0.375 times 15 plus 0.25 times 20 plus 0.125 times 10 plus 0.25 times 24. All right, and that works out to be 17.875%. So the expected return for this portfolio is 17.875%. For the beta, we're going to be saying 0.375 times 1.5 plus 0.25 times 1.8 plus 0.125 times 1 plus 0.25 times 2.3 and that works out to be 1.7125 right and that's our beta so the portfolio beta 1.7125 and the expected return was 17.875 right so these concepts are He's the master, but it just requires practice. So, as usual, don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you cannot get it wrong. All right, so all the best, guys, and we'll be in touch.